Oh my god, ban. Hello, hello, hello. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I think it's good now. I think it's. Alright, hold up. Alright, is it good now? I just changed my server because I think the secondary server was causing a lot of lag. Yeah, I think that was it. So, I changed my pro uh, server over to something else. Please. Man. I have to ban everyone. Can I catch it though? You keep I eat a sock? No, we never beat China. That was his condition. If we beat China, one game, he had to eat his, consume his socks. But that never happened. Yeah, where did my mods go? Yes, I will remember to turn my in game music off next game. Actually, you know what? I'll go do that now because that's honestly about as important. I'm I'm gonna take a while to get into the game, anyways. I don't, oh, I should have done turning drafts. Blind pick. So hold up, guys. I'm just gonna turn off the sound real quick. I don't even know if I have mods in this right now. Didn't play Cat All Stars because she's honestly really risky. Like she's stupidly risky. Playing Cat anywhere on the map is risky. You have to be careful. Let me go ahead and turn off my in-game music, and I'll go ahead and, and go back in the solo queue. She Cat's not bad, honestly. Uh, I, actually, with people using Rise a lot nowadays, she's gotten worse. The fact that Rise is becoming more popular means Cat is going to fall off the board I a little bit. Never rest. So, music volume, right? Good. Alright. I don't care about NK music, I'll be honest. What kind of CPU do you have? Processor graphics? I, I have no idea. No, Zed? I don't think I'll be playing Zed. I think... Actually, I might put it in one game, just to see what his current strength is at, because I'm not sure. Yeah, I use Alienware. I have an Alienware desktop. And a laptop, actually. Also, our experience is good. Blue build misfortune. That sounds horrendous. That sounds straight up horrible. Who's behind me? I have Kiwi Kid behind me. How did you get a 1080p stream? Uh, I got a better... I got a switch from my laptop to desktop, so I'm able to get a higher quality stream. Do there could be any female pro league players in the future? Yeah, I think so. I think there could be some now, but... Who knows? Or does anyone ever tell you you're the best? Only every other day. Kiwi got a haircut? Yes, he did.
Can you ask Kitty Pie about swing with Gunblade? That sounds horrendous. Blue build Rengar. I'm being trolled right now. Did Kramer quit lol? Yes, he did. Opinion on Smurfs. Kinda sucks for new players, that's all I'm gonna say. Describe your ideal champion. Katarina for Q did 800 damage. Is... Is Kazakh still strong? He won't be after the 3.8 nerfs. He'll be really bad. Lissandra, I haven't played too, too much of. You carry a game by being better than the other people in the game. Or being able to use uh, the tools at your disposal to be able to put pressure on the game. Get objectives, win the game, stuff like that. I think a hotshot quitting. It's whatever. Diana after nerfs. Oh, she's oh, still good. Still good. Okay. Not as good as Rise, though. Like, the thing is, every mid laner got nerfed that, like, does well against Rise, so Rise is gonna become God. It's already become God. Yeah, I've already read Wave Kings by Sanderson. Have it actually in the bookshelf. Uh, like, the room over there. Theme of the current economic state of the USA? I have no idea. I'm not educated enough to respond to that question. The pros and cons of Malzahar. He shoves, he lanes really well, but he's immobile, low range, and very. I don't know. His play style is really bad. It's not bad per se, but it's. it's he requires your team to like help him set up, which is horrible. Does Dark Matter exist? Who knows? I think it does. I don't play Grogs anymore. I do. I get this my life stretch. The best stretch I've ever played against. How's CLG's roster change? Well, they change rosters. I don't know. I just think it's weird that they would pick. Like, if they're going for it to perform well at Worlds, they pick, like, the riskiest top player possible to try to train a new player in a new position in three months. It's like, I'm just confused, really. Like, I don't know why they went with that decision, but aside from that, who knows? We'll see how it works out. Is Rise too strong now? I don't know. I think... The problem is, I consider Rise, like, a really broken champ. Like, a really, really, really strong champion, right? But, he's like, of the strong champions, I feel like Ryze has like, some of the most, the, the best counterplay. So I don't think he's like, I don't think he's as problematic as some of the other champions. I think that's too strong. For instance, I think Jace is too good. Because Jace is like, he's, he does everything. He can solo well, go into any lane. He can 1v2 well. He scales extremely well. Uh, his, his base values are really well, so are really good too. And he can function off either low CS or high CS, it doesn't really matter. And he's very safe. And he pokes. So he's got, and he brings utility. Like he's just got like a, a whole kit that's amazing. But Ryze is like, he's he's got losing lane matchups. He's got, he's really bad at 1v2ing. Uh, he takes a while to ramp up to be able to do damage. And he's very squishy and gankable before he does that. So... Uh, I think Ryze is ridiculously good, but I feel like he has weaknesses to counterbalance uh, his strengths, at least in a lot of areas. Whereas I feel like I, I feel like he's probably the the most counterable of like the stupidly strong champions right now. Everyone runs move speed on Ryze. You can also run like five mana or magic pen. Either of those. Jace's weaknesses are hard engage. His weaknesses are literally his weakness is literally just Malphite. Like that's his weakness. Malphite Zach, like hard engage initiation comps. That's his but a lot of people are weak to that. Like it's not just him. I think 
Chase has the least weaknesses of, of like mid laners or solo laners. He's the most broken champ, probably Jace right now. Rumble used to be up there, but then Rumble got nerfed to the ground. Think about ambitions 9021 TF, it's fine. It's better to master TF for competitive play because Anivia requires your whole team to work around her. On TF, you can kind of build comps around him. Oops. Strongest player at Worlds, in your opinion? I think Shy was just like the best. The best player with the best showing at Worlds. Or not Worlds, uh, All Stars. You my boyfriend? No. Huh. I believe Tyr the Mirror Mana needs a nerf. Yes, I think Tyr is too good. I think Tyr is disgustingly good. Disgustingly good. It's okay, so before Tyr got buffed, like before they became a third tier of Tyr, I, that's a weird way to say it, um, there used to be no way to sink your mana into. Um, it's like you'd get all this mana, there'd be no way for you to you'd have a mana dump. Like, you have too much mana, you couldn't use it all. But now that Riot made the item more better on the design purpose, like, there's now a mana dump included in the third tier of the item. And in, in usage and in design, the item has become better, but in practicality, the item has become too strong because of that. Like, holy sh... I don't know, like, it's just too good. It's just too... Good. I don't know what they, they should do about it because I like the item, I like the idea of the item, I like the design of having the third tier, but I don't like, I don't like how the, the item, I, I think it creates, it's like, it's always going to be problematic because tier, mana is there to be a limit, like that's the limiter to like, you having utility or you having more damage, but with tier you don't have a limit anymore, and that's, tier is like the reason why Jace is really strong right now, like, because without tier, he'd be really, really reliant on being able to, uh, you just play his stuff efficiently, but, or use his mana efficiently, but without tier, like, with tier, you don't need to ever worry about mana. You just spam all your shit at all, all the time. That sucks. I think that's Echo's Anivia middle. I want to play against Anivia. What do I want to play against it though? The Ori Anivia matchup is really fun. Karthus Anivia is fun, but typically more so for the Anivia player. Gragas Anivia is fun. Uh, let's see. Fabi is so good because he is a god. What was I gonna try this game? There was something I wanted to try that like I just wasn't able to Oh, I wanted to play Lysandra. That's right. That's right. Oh, I was gonna play Zed. No, 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 that was the other thing. But honestly I don't like playing Zed into Anivia. That's why I immediately discounted it, because Zed into Anivia is not fun. This also might be a losing matchup, I don't know, because I've only played Lysandra once in my life. Faker's so good? I watched a lot of OGN yesterday. Like, I watch OGN for Faker, that's pretty much why I watch it, because he is disgustingly good at this game. Bryce top isn't played more in a because it just got picked up in OGN, and typically when a region picks up something, other regions are slow to adapt. I honestly think Rise top is good, but not unbeatable. Like, I feel like Rise top is gonna have a period of time in Korea where like it gets picked a lot, right? Right now, but in, in like by finals even, like two weeks or something, there will be counter picks to Rise top that would just like crush it. Uh, Fakers from SKT 1 2. 
what, what is it called? SKT1 to T2 term like Judgment Day. There we go. That's the name for it. It's it's kind of silly. See, I'm running just hybrid reds, armor, MR, and AP. It's a very standard. I think Jace is going to get nerfed. I really do. But until then, every team has to know how to play Jace. And at least one, or if not two, of the lanes. Because Jace right now is the best champion in the game. I think I could safely say that. I don't own this skin, so I can't take it. Akali sucks. Like I, Oh, she's just so situational. It's like, why would you ever play Akali? Oh my god, what is this team? Sil Soul Link and Bishu. This is the greatest team to play against. Hybrid Pet is is really good because it pretty much gives you a lot of free like armor pen. It lets you last hit better, lets you harass better. As long as you're rain, you're able to do 20% of your overall damage in lane is AD. It works out to be cost efficient, which is typically every AD, I, every champion I play in the game, middle lane, I use like I I auto attack the other champion like at some point in the game. So which is why I t typically take a ton, a ton of stuff. I'm wondering if I should copy. Huh. I saw a ZZ type play this champ, and he went Spectral Wraith. I don't know if that's good though. I'll, I'll open Standard though and see what I can do with it. I'm against the Shivana jungle. Oh my god, he's dead. What the heck? Just kill that guy. Alright, never mind. My team sucks. This is but a battle. I've already won the war. Yeah. If Illuminate Flash is at 100%. Uh, one of the things about Lysandra that would be helpful is if her eye splash on Q, like the residual, doesn't actually do any damage, which is bad. Or that doesn't do any slow, sorry. To link with 4-2. I went 5-1. I've been starting to go 5-1 more uh, on mid lanes rather than 4-2 in terms of health mana pots because... It, it, a lot of scrims, it's a lot of like real games. I get one v two middle, and the extra mana pot really doesn't do anything for me. The watchers will return. Huh? The pain. I never rest. Go ahead and skill you up right now. There will be no Thor. Uh, the problem is, my range is what, 550? Her range is 600? It's annoying. She always has an auto attack advantage on me. I will 
And the lane's a little bit pushed up. Too pushed up for Lee Sin to gank. The only thing Lee Sin can do is look to turn a gank. Whatever. Oh, just use the last hit. That's really dangerous. Like, for instance, if the juggler Shivana was, like, right here, then I'd have to flash. Yeah, okay. That was a little bit bad to face check that without E. Uh, yeah, it it was greedy. It was very greedy. Uh, already my mid lane is pro is problems. It's a very or ha I have a problem right now because of what just happened. I had the f I had my flash force and have an 18 second cooldown up. Forget forget this. Can I hit it? Oh, it doesn't extend that far. Alright, ship gets first blood bot lane. I don't know if I can out scrap her 1v1. Especially not without E, I'm pretty sure I can't. Alright, got some free harass there, because a mini wave finally moved up for me to be able to harass. Oh, let me position myself in the better position. I got the harass there as well. No one will remember that. She hit five. You can't stop That's fine. Got some really good harass on her there. I don't have flash though. So if she hits a, an ice ball, I might be dead off it. Nope. There's her. I could all in her as soon as her, she used her Q. She's looking to shove out the, the back. And I'm not gonna let her. One of those games where I wish I had four. Yeah, she's definitely looking to the back. Oh, nope, never mind. Here's the side to stay. Let's see how it's look like. 34 to 34. I shouldn't have used E to CS back at my turret. Had I saved E for when he used Q on the creep wave, I could have gone in and just killed him. Or forced his flash. Your death serves a greater purpose. Huh, that's not good. Plans within plans. Well, she's her ignite. I have my last health pot here. She just needs six. This world has forgotten Honestly, if she wanted to flash and chase me, I think she might have been able to kill. I'm just not sure. Alright. Oh, I should have shot the other way. I would have killed her. Actually, this is only work on champions. Can I do it on like a creep wave near near her? That might should be pretty interesting. If I shot E the other way, as if I had known that I was about to hit six, then I could have I could have forced her flash again, because she had already used all of her mana just shoving the wave. So I'm going back right now. It should be about, about I should back about the same time that Link did. CS wise, we're equal, but. Actually, can I? That's so greedy. I I can't go for that. I was thinking about going for wait saving gold for the CDR item, but it means I'd have to go into lane with no sustain. And honestly, going to lane with no sustain is like really risky. Huh? Well, that's not good. Alright, forget this mid lane, I need blue buff. Wait. No, it's too close, no, it's too close. There we go, there we go. 
I swear to God, if a Navy steals this with a Q, I'll be so bad. I lost a little bit of CS to pick up this blue buff, but it was worth. Oh wow, Link is going. Okay, that build that he went is so risky because he doesn't. He didn't get any health, any any uh, health in lane or any sustain outside one crystal. I'm just shut out this lane. We should go look for his blue. To be honest. We should honestly go in for that. Plans within plans. Is this warded? Nope. Did Shiv take blue? I never rest. Damn. Alright, got all the CS there. I'm gonna keep shoving. They cannot fight the cold. How did I miss that? Oh! Wait, what, what just happened? Alright, it's fine. Got shut down there, got a red buff. Oh, I thought he just like, I thought he did kick and then it just like went in some weird direction. That was pretty risky. I'm pretty sure Link is doing blue right now. I don't know why he was shoved. He's either doing blue or going back. Alright, this is kind of risky. I don't know if I can do this. But hey, we'll try. Because after I do this, I can just go ahead and roam bot. This is how I ping for when I know I'm about to gank a lane. Please. Oh. oh my god, that's the flash. Uh, actually, we're, we're okay, we're okay. Even though I just had the flash, we're okay. Let me go ahead and back out here. Oh wow, the score is really bad. Okay, I sh that's that's smart for me to take blue and go Rombot. I could have actually stopped blue and Rombot immediately. That might have been smarter, but I really wanted the blue buff, so I got greedy this for it. It worked out in the end, but I don't know if I would have done that in the real game. So Jace beating Lulu top. Oh, Bishu. So, I have the advantage, the clear advantage right now because he went, really, he went Swifties? That is so... I hate playing against Link. He does like all these stupid experimental builds that are like horrible. That's like a, a season 2 many reason build or something. I wanted to die that so bad. What the heck? Whatever. That's a great ward. A plus ward. Oh my god. No, oh my god, I can't dodge. Uh, I think Bichu was trying to Q jump over the wall. Uh, that was so bad. Like, I don't think we should have kept chasing, but he just kept going in. As soon as he forced the Shiva out of disengage. I need a ward for, for right side. Because I wasted both my wards on left. Or, I need a ward for left side because I wasted both my wards on right. Honestly, it, the late game carry is going to have to come from bot lane. But I just hope that 